So this was uh, some kind of military aircraft come flying out from Tallinn airport. So the next stop is uh, I'm going to try test drive uh, Mazda. Mazda electric C CX3. So and Mazda is located that way near next to the airport so let's go ah by the way there is a very interesting uh, tree here camera tree take a look you see cameras uh, tree full of cameras e in each uh, direction every possible direction up down hi now i'm in the car uh, mazda mx30 so i just got it from the, the inkscape place so let's take a look Let's first take a, a quick look uh, of the car, trunk, outside. It's quite spacious, the seat is quite uh, uh, comfortable and it feels luxurious compared to uh, the Megane and to other cars too. So let's take a look, it's super windy. So that's from outside. Interesting thing is how this door is opened. You see, no handle here. It opens like here, like this. Which is actually quite a comfortable position to get seated. Oh. But there isn't much room at the back. So it's a small car. Uh, my feet are uh, almost uh, touching. Take a look. I moved the seat a little bit further. Not much room. The positive is that you can move it forward and backward and tilt it even from, the, from here. So that's good. Here too. Let's take a look at the headspace. I'm 178, very little headspace. So at the back it's quite small. Okay, let's take a look at the trunk. Closing the door. And the shape of the car is quite nice. Round. So this is a test drive car. The trunk is not big. You see? You can fit my Segway, but not much more. Small trunk. So the sun is shining at the moment. People are test driving. See, one is on the Mercedes test driving there. They looked quite interested at the at this car I will also make the thumbnail so what do you think this some thumbnail okay this one will do <laughs> so let's continue with the test drive from inside okay getting inside is uh, quite comfortable starting the car ah i have to uh, the stop pedal the brake and then power so everything li lit up the car feels from inside luxurious it has even 
head uh, over display which obviously you can't see from uh, the footage but I can see the speed everything in the head over display and displays here are also crisp let's see go to settings in vehicle displays so this display is called active driving display and you have a lot of uh, settings height tilt adjustments all kind of things uh, you can adjust everything from this uh, like rotating ring plus back and home buttons quite comfortable the sound is separate from here so let's see also the navigation what kind of navigation do we have let's go home ah so let's see navigation ah you can zoom in zoom out at destination search uh, this is not very comfortable so you have to letter by letter to dial in those things let's try Christine shopping center what is this no we want to go back so the first thing this navigation system is like it's crazy it's not comfortable to use but okay let's uh, start with the driving i think uh, uh, they will produce some uh, noise uh, from the loudspeakers as far as you tried it it has some noise when you accelerate so let's start uh, the sh shift stick is like this quite logical uh, this is reverse backing up camera and direct that's it they don't have much uh, other options than uh, reverse and direct nothing else in this car so now it's locked over 25 kilometers per hour the car locked Now we are 81 kilometers per hour. The brake pedal is kind of smooth. I would prefer uh like a more rapid braking but you have to really push it to brake so the navigation system basic old but the feeling the seating is comfortable so let's try a little bit of uh, city driving first now it's 2.30 so not much of a traffic oh. the 
the range of these cars are not is not great so I'm starting with 176 and uh, at Mazda they told me that maximum they have uh, gotten from that car is 205 kilometers range wise is not good is not good price wise I think it's cheaper oh I put the price away but it was 33 something so now we have heavy traffic here we are at Petri you see quite a lot of cars the window shield display is very comfortable it also has uh, uh, this rudder to uh, keep distance with the cars in front of you which is good I like this function And it started breaking by itself so now it started stopping I like this function because I'm kind of lazy I like it even in the, in the city center so now we are at the airport this is Tallinn airport you see airplanes we can even go through the airport let's do that Tallinn airport has this function like uh, not function kiss and fly you see this is kiss and fly or no? Three ten minutes. We can go from here too. to get out of the car <sighs> let's put the safety and we continue ah. Maybe you even see the display now, I don't know. We'll see later. Do you see it? In the darkness. Maybe you see. So, and here the gates should open 
by themselves because it will look into the da database the car number and that we don't have to pay and it should open automatically let's see yes that's great so now you also saw this uh, kiss and fly function in, in the airport so two in one G testing a new car and a uh, new function in the airport so let's continue to the city acceleration is great someone commented that uh, I should try uh, Tesla that their acceleration is even better so maybe next car will be Tesla model 3 let's see you see the traffic is quite heavy traffic I feel okay this was a warning the radar warned me So I have uh, time until 4 o'clock to drive that car So let's see I think I have to charge my, my camera in the meantime The field of view is quite good okay. All the functions are quite uh, logical, logically situated except the navigation system is horrible this is okay okay Mazda what is this where did you come up with this uh, navigation system it has to be re redone like immediately or I can use my phone or something but that's crap otherwise dials here big like standard dials no big screens okay the mirrors are quite big left and right mirror with the standard warning uh, if I can overtake somebody with this standard orange light warning take a look so this light will come on like this is quite standard function these days no? yes like a triangle okay it warned me so we are now behind the fire brigade car uh? And now we are going to to be in the middle of the traffic jam. Okay. We have time, don't worry.
I have a feeling that uh, there is kind of a sound system uh, they're putting engine roar in the sound system which I did not see in the other cars so this is the first car with this rolling sound okay I got one comment also on one another video that you would like to have more of those just driving videos so comment in the video below would you like to have like the simple driving videos I, I used to make before hand or you just want me to continue with something new okay so now we are at Swiss Hotel Stockman and we're going to continue left to Livalaya Okay, uh, I will continue filming in some other location because here uh, we have just uh, the sun is just uh, against us, like in front of us. So I'm not sure what you're going to see. Okay, see you in the, some uh, next uh, next segment. So now the sun is behind us and we are going to drive through the city center maybe you can notice that uh, we have quite a lot of uh, bike uh, lanes painted all over the city which is actually good those red paint red painted red bicycle lanes on the right hand side maybe it will make the driving the, with the bicycle a little bit safer so those people in the cars can notice more the bicyclists It is quite bright sun. The sun is quite bright. So we are using electric cars so we can drive on the bus tram lane.
So now I have uh, driven this car for like one and a half hours and what are my uh, feelings about it? It's um, this sound from the s sound speakers uh, like like the engine sound is quite interesting I even like it but uh, a bit strange because uh, none of the other electric cars have that and you have a, like a feeling that it's uh, like a real car uh, they just have put an electric engine on the battery uh, the other cars they had some special features like uh, like a pedal mode in nissan this b mode in uh, skoda uh, which made it uh, different this car feels like a normal petrol car but with an electric motor maybe they want to do that um, the other thing navigation horrible everything else great also the battery could uh, it would have been better if they had a bigger battery but the battery is uh, the smallest of uh, all the batteries so far So from here I'll just do a little bit of uh, driving Just driving around the city
also another big building project Liva Laia Quartal it's quite interesting I don't know if you see it these were going to be a big buildings So, I have 30 more minutes to test the car. So, let's see. Through the airport and Petri, maybe we can uh, floor it uh, where we have, uh, and there's a spot where we have a limit 110 kilometers. Let's see how it fares there. So now we are going to use the benefit of the electric car and we're going to use the bus lane. You see? Now we are on the bus lane, everybody else has to wait. Woohoo! <laughs> That's a quite a benefit. Because we would have waited here maybe one hour. So now we are behind this uh, RS7, which is not electric. I don't know, what does he do in the bus lane? 777 PES. Obviously, this Mazda has no chance against this Audi. It's, it's very sport, sporty Audi. S SR7 or whatever. Oh, it has some like a real sports car. You see? Like the, he deployed, deployed the wing. Speed limits are off, up to 110.
it's a very stable drive with high speeds no problem whatsoever Okay, and I think we have reached the limit. It's 148. It's 148, but that's more than enough. So here I'll go, uh, make a turn around and go back to Tallinn. Okay, let me know in the comments below how did you like this uh, Mazda, electric Mazda MX-30 and see you in the next video. I found also one stretch of a dirt road here close by, so let's try it on dirt road too. It's quite rigid. Okay, let's turn around. Okay, that's a private road already. So that was a dirt road test, but obviously you're not going to never use it on dirt road because uh, it's a, like a city car with a small battery. Okay, that's it. See you in the next video.